Hey everyone, I'm Saban92AK Nightmare, and I'm also in a deep and intense battle with the allergies of the season. How's everybody doing? From what we overheard, the president is still scheming something. We have to take him down before he tries anything else. Ah, it's time for us to defeat the president! Right? Is that what we're doing? Okay! It, it wasn't my fault. Aikiji went in, so I had no choice. Uh, right, Sabata? Uh, I'll give you a pass, Lisa. I'll give you a pass. It's both your faults! Seriously, without knowing what kind of traps there are, don't even think of wandering off like that again. Sorry, Mom. Oh, there's mud on my favorite tunic. Damn that Yasuo! I'm sticking him with the cleaning bill. Of course you are. Oh, don't go in there. It was originally an air raid shelter, but rumor has it that once you go inside, you can't find the exit. Look, it's just dangerous, okay? We don't want visitors wandering in by accident, so I'm standing guard here. Oh, we just came out of there, so the correct answer is this way. Now that we got out of there... To the third floor! Ow! Oh. Right. School festival. Ugh. I should probably find a healing room. Oh, that would require me getting out of here, though. I think I'm gonna do that. Ow. 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 Ooh. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Chiropractor. You do your do do, do your magic, Mr. Man. I know my spine's completely Oh my god, twelve hundred. Worth it. Oh, thank you. Ooh, dream it complete. How'd you like the subtle touch of my magic fingers? I don't want anything else to do with you, Mr. Tommy. Bye! God bless it. Whew. Okay. Um, I guess what I should do is I should go back to Satomi Tadashi. Because, uh... Might need myself some more healing items. Hello. I have things I wish to buy. <laughs> Six antidotes. Five of those. Uh, two more of those. Uh, two more revival beads. Uh, rattle drinks. Actually, yeah, that should be enough. No more sweepstake stuff. Thank you, sister number five. Have yourself a good day. Thank you for letting me shop at Satomi Tadashi. Right now, though, I have to go back to that school because there's more things I have to do. In fact, to the third floor we go, for I must find a student that possesses the rumor that I desperately crave. Here we go. It is... I could go that way. Honestly, I may as well just go that way. They all go to the same place, really. Ah, no. Okay. I do the I do the swift jog. Further up. Now let's go find somebody on the third floor. Ah! We bring death to all who get in our way, especially to the Ampusa. I don't know why specifically I'm singling out Ampusa, I don't know. Ow! Ow! Weakness bonus only does one damage. Thank goodness you're immune to ailments. Let's take care of Arrhenius first. Lisa, hey Kichi, let's go. Here goes. Good. 
This is our power. And that's his power, because he's just leveled up. Yay. That's my boy. Hey, <sighs> KG, you're the best. I, I, I saw her. I saw her, I swear. That's a certain popular fe feature of school ghost stories, Bukimi. Oh, this is so frustrating. Nobody believes my story. If only I had some proof. Hey, mister, could you go defeat Bukimi and bring back some evidence she exists? I'll make sure to thank you properly, pretty please. Was that the rumor? If so, that was exceptionally quick and I didn't have to do much of anything. I just got it. Oops. Only one way to find out. To the Kuzanoa Detective Agency. Or an enemy that also is a thing that can be done. Let's go, Maybe me rapidly tapping the button is not the best because some enemies are immune. But, oh well. I don't think there's really much for me to worry about considering our damage output is pretty damn good. So, there's really nothing for us to even worry too much about. Also, this might be a bit overkill. Sorry, Ogre, but you were in the way. Let's go, everybody. Taste our power! Ooh, 94! So long. Good damage! Hey, six more level ups and I'll be able to recruit myself a Jack Frost. Yeah, I'm still gonna get that Jack Frost. You can't stop me. And if there's a Pyro Jack, ooh, you know I'm gonna get my hands on that. Sorry. Anytime I, I, it has become a tradition at this point that anytime I am playing an SMT or anything related to SMT, whether it's Persona or just straight up SMT, side games like Devil Summoner, or in the future whenever I tackle Soul Hackers, doesn't matter. I am going to get the bros. Hello there. Yes, it was seen at Kasuga Yamahai. Spreading that rumor will cost you 3,000. Anything else? No, that's about it. All I can do is spread up some rumors here and there. The rest is all up to you. Rather than be seeing you. You know what I should do? I should probably attach this memory card to my actual Vita. So that way, I, if I want to grind, I can actually go around and grind. But not so much for EXP. Specifically for cards. And maybe some money. I should probably start doing that, but considering I have not really faced any level of difficulty in this game, aside from like long lasting boss fights, which aren't necessarily difficult per se. Oh well. So, Bukimi is somewhere around here, hmm? Well, I'm gonna go to the third floor because this is where the student wants me to look, or that's where the student was. I swear to God, is it another toy? <sighs> Return of the deadly flush. The royal flush, one might say. How much you want to bet it's actually weak? How much you want to bet it's weak to water? It's either weak or it's immune. Resists. That was a freaking hand that just shot out of that toilet. Alright, let's go for two fusion spells this time. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Blazing Burst. And Earth Slice. Maya, we just believe in you, okay? Go! 
You actually do a little bit of damage. Don't underestimate us. Burn! All right, Lisa, hey, Kichi, tear it up. Let's go, everybody. Persona. Oh, yeah, I think we've got this <laughs> in the bag. I saw the red reticle. Who loved misfortune? What even was that? Doesn't matter. Burn! You're still alive, huh? Not for long. Lisa, hey Kichi. Let's go, everybody. So long. Bukimi's name tag. Are these side quests going to be involve me taking out some freaking toilet demons? Oh, dear me, this is Bukimi's name tag. I'm delighted you kept your promise. <laughs> Naturally, I'll hold up my end of the bargain. Okay, then here's five so... Five... Soma? Where the fuck did you get those? Use them well. And maybe next time we meet, I can thank you more intimately. Much obliged. Sorry, I don't know you very well. Also, I'm demisexual, so sorry. Nothing, not, not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just don't know you, so. Oh, I, oh, I deeply apologize. I'm sorry for putting myself forward on that one, but, eh, I took my shot. Fair enough. Have yourself a good day, sir. Yeah, you too. Okay, so, let's see. We gotta find Yasuo. And if I had to guess, he's in a room that we haven't, in, in, we probably haven't gotten access to. Let's ask around. Five Soma, good lord. That's amazing. Unless Soma works differently, which I would doubt it, but I wanna see just to be sure. How did this guy get access to five Soma? Holy crap. I gotta hold on to those. So everyone who told us where the president was, was working for him? Oh, yeah, what's up with that? Figured as much. Hey, Keiichi must know this is the president's file too. So you were scheming stuff with that president. Did you do it knowing that I'm the boss? I mean, ex-boss Michelle? <sighs> that president knew we were coming and was ready for us. He got us. Damn, I admit. I almost said it. Oh, yeah. I almost cursed. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry! That asshole ordered me to lead you guys to the air raid shelter. For some reason, I can't disobey him. Rumors! Manipulating people! Because of course. So now we gotta go figure out where he is. I got a lot of customers this year, but we can't rest on our laurels. I need to start doing my next year's movie. Sheesh, our club's president way too into this stuff. As soon as the showing started winding down, he was talking about our next film. I bet the masquerade is about starting at the gym. I was looking forward to that. The gym, you say? That's probably on the... That's probably on the first floor, if I had to guess. Alright, let's go make our way to the first floor, then. That's probably where he's waiting for us. Ah! Hey, you're hurt. Let me take a look. Oh, thank you. I forgot that you were here, ma'am. You won't be able to enter the Kasuga Festival if you're hurt. Come on, the masquerade's already started. Everyone has to wear a mask, so take this with you. Make sure you put it on inside. Oh, thank you. I bet that perv's in here. I won't rest until we catch him, and I unleash a 15-hit combo on his ass. Hey, I'll hold him down. Hell yeah! Dude. The mask these guys are wearing. Aren't they the same ones we saw at Zodiac? Does that mean these guys are part of Joker's organization, too? 
that are they're desperately or they are really much affiliated with them probably no i don't think that's it aren't these guys just playing happy hmm it's that crowded in here what's joker want with so many people so he wants a lot of people to play the Joker game, thus increasing the risk of somebody not following the rules, thus just, you know, just them ceasing to exist. In the minds of people, like, theoretically they cease to exist. You know, just, uh, uh, yeah. They're here, they're here! Tons of cute girls! Spring has come to Kasugiyama High! Rah! Time to score at last! Hey, hey, time to score, we're gonna score! Hey. You're an idiot, Davis. There are so many customers. The dismal image we had before now seems like a bad dream. I hope you have fun too. Thank you. Let's go. Whoa, what the? Are we not gonna talk about the fire? Are we not gonna talk about the fact that there are lasers coming out of these guys' heads with these masks? Wow. Looks like the party's in full swing. This seems pretty upscale for a high school festival. Also, the fact that we have artwork of their... Is, is everybody going to be wearing a mask? Oh my god! I already see some people that have ceased to exist. Well, what's wrong, Sabata-kun? Is my mask on crooked? No. Do you not see what's going on? What the hell is Yasuo doing?! Isn't this the same kind of sc skull Joker had? Huh? Uh, that's enough. Please, stop. Stop already. Nope. You are just straight up murdering. You're, you're wiping several students from existence right now. We gotta hurry and put an end to this, or else everyone here is going to turn into Shadow Men. Let's go! Hmm? What a fool. Anna! Anna? Is that you? Hurry and get out. It's not safe here! I know that. What the? Okay. Yasuo, you smug prick! What are you doing here? Quit it with the skull! Wait, come on, Sabata! Let's go after him! Let's go, Aikichi. How do we get up there? Ugh. I couldn't really see too clearly, but Aikichi's right. Didn't that skull Yasuo had seem like the one, same one we saw before? Yeah. What was Anna doing here? And that feeling I had a moment ago. No. It, it can't be. I don't know. Grazie, Sabatakun. If, if I'd kept that mask on, I'd be the same boat as these kids. Ah, prego. I thought there was a girl here a moment ago I was dancing with. Was I imagining things? The emblem curse has been lifted. Everything will be a okay once I get a cuss high boyfriend, but I don't care anymore. tired for some reason, but going home would be so much effort. <sighs> this is so much fun. Why? Why? Why am I so, uh, so exhausted? Good lord. I was gonna hook up with the cute girl at this masquerade, but I don't care anymore. For real though, this music actually sounds pretty good. A cool Cuss High student was just hitting on me, but he was gone when I looked back. Hey, was it all a dream? Hey, doesn't this place seem a lot less crowded all of a sudden? Don't tell me it's over already. Well, I can't talk to them, which means I can't talk to them. Let's go. 
This way? No. Oh. No. How? I haven't got much of a choice. That bastard must still be inside the school. We gotta hurry and find him, Sabata. That girl. Why was she here? If she didn't come to dance, then... Oh, no. She might be involved. The way he panicked. There was something definitely off about him. Is it because we got out? No, he looked like he was struggling, like he didn't want what was going on to happen. So he was potentially lied to, maybe? That student council president had the same shiny skull as Joker, although it was a different color. The president ran off toward the school building in a big hurry. What happened? Yeah. We gotta find him. Oh, it changed the music now? Oh man, I was kind of hoping it would keep it. Okay, let's see if somebody saw him. Oh dear, what's wrong? Our student council president just rushed up the stairs. Whatever could have happened? Man, cross-dressing is actually pretty fun if you just roll with it. I wonder if I should do it again next year. Hey, if it's something that you like, go for it, sir, buddy. Go for it. Again, if it's something that you actually find yourself enjoying, do it. All the more power to you. Uh, if I had to guess, roof. I'll show up my classmates yet, but this is just a normal name tag with Bukimi written on it. I wonder if they'll believe me. Okay, you're not helping. I don't think anybody saw him. Hey! Okay, so nothing new, okay. Let's see, there should be maybe a way further up. Did something happen? The student council president just ran through here with a terrified look on his face. Perfect. I mean, what? Why was the student council president in such a hurry? He was running up those stairs pretty quick. Is there something on the roof? I was right. And, okay. To the roof! Never mind! You will not stop me, demons. Let's do this. I will not be stopped in my pursuit of the... I got nothing, actually. Let's go, Yukino. Even if it resists some of it, it still does enough damage to actually knock this thing out. Which works for me. See? I say it works. Quite effectively. And you're frozen! How do you like them apples? Hey, you attack my friend, therefore you die. Burn! Finish him off, eh, Kichi and Lisa? Let's go, everybody! Y'all are just that good. You ain't worth my time! Damn right! <sighs> that bastard Yasuo just ahead. My persona says it's pissed off too. The fuck? What 
the hell is that noise? What? I hope you're ready, yes! Huh? Wait, his walkie-talkie. <laughs> You've come. You bastard. What's your game? Making everyone into shadow men. You needn't yell like that. I've rendered a service under this school by reshaping it, you know. A service? Prior to this, Kasugayama High was best known for its poor academic standing and lack of discipline. But now... Hey! Our school's reputation has skyrocketed! Students who were called scum are now highly sought after by the girls from other schools. It's all thanks to me, your student council president, that the school has seen such a radical turnaround. You are the dumbest villain I think I have ever seen. Sure, misdirection's a great idea. But whenever you're literally in the same area, those who have a very keen ear, is it keen ear or a very percept, they have, they have very good perception, can usually tell the direction an actual voice is coming from if they can, you know, oh, I don't know, pick it out of an entire lineup. It's the same, it's the same sort of thing if you're listening to music and you can adjust your hearing to hear a, only one of the instruments in a very, you know, in a song. You failed miserably, you idiot, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, what the fuck? Who did that? Oh, shit! Well done in spotting me. No wonder you escaped from that air raid shelter. How freaking stupid are you? See, this is why I like you, Lisa. You say how it is. D don't call me stupid. Your ilk can never understand my value. <laughs> say what you will, but this, if this school festival succeeds, there's no doubt that my reputation will soar even higher. Now then, I have a bit of a proposition for you, Mishinakun. I plan to proceed with my agenda of reshaping this school, and in the near future, gaining complete control of it. I'd like for you to rest control the inside of the school. If we joined forces, assuming full control of Kasugayama High from the inside and out, this would become a top-tier institution. Well, a perfect plan, wouldn't you agree? Holy shit, you're an idiot. Screw that noise! Who would want in on a plan that shady? If you have time to waste blabbering about crap like that, hurry and turn everyone back to normal! You, you truly don't understand, do you? It's no use threatening me. I don't have any notion how to return those people to their former selves. Just hand over the skull, and that'll be enough. We'll figure it out for ourselves. No! I mustn't! The lady would kill me if I let it fall into the wrong hands. The lady? Oh, if you won't hand it over willingly, we'll take it by force! I detest violence, but I suppose I don't have a choice now. You'll die regretting your decision to meddle. <laughs> Let's go! I, I, I won't let anyone interfere with my dream! Never! You're, oh my god, that voice. Son of a bitch! I'll beat some sense into you! Hell yeah! Alright, let's beat the crap out of this punk. 
Okay, first things first. We gotta figure out what his weaknesses are. Okay, I'll start off with... Actually, wait, I can... I can... I'll, I'll take out two of the options. Sword and flame. Okay, Yukino, you'll try electricity. Lisa, I'll have you use magna. 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 Meh. Aqua. I gotta appreciate, I love this battle music. It's good so far. Team, let's go! Taste this. Weak to fire? Got it. What the hell was that? Magna and fire? Okay, he absorb. Oh no, okay. We got an opponent that can absorb. Okay, Yukino. Insist on that. Okay, so water and ice are out of the out of the playing field. So he also seems to resist strike or slash attacks. Maybe. Oh well. Zon. Uh, feral claw that does havoc. So go. I'll prepare you, Kino. Now let's go. Don't Holy shit! That was a lot of damage! You better actually start taking this fight seriously, Yasuo. Otherwise, you are going to lose. Well, to be fair, it's not like I care whether you lose or you win. This is simply punishment for your own sins. Oops. Well, now that we know that this works. No. Well. No. Just fight normally. Probably better this way. And Feral Claw. Seriously, Yashlo, you better start taking this fight seriously. Unless this is all you've got. Now you finally grow us. Oh my god! Holy fuck, that was a lot of damage! Well, at least he finally did what I asked him to. Maya? Heal. That is what you're going to do, okay? Actually, just to be safe, I'll also have Lisa heal Aikichi just to be safe. But I'm also gonna use uh, Media. Let's go, Yukino. We're dealing some really solid damage. That's doing about the same amount of damage as Zon. Well, actually does a little bit more than Zon, I think. Okay, auto battle. We got our setup. 
Were you only weak enough to where you could only summon your persona one time to deal that little bit of damage? Are you truly this pathetic, Yasuo? Look at you! You're already in a weakened state! Look at you! Honestly, I'm half tempted to just let Lisa and uh, Aikichi take you down. Holy crap, man. I am disappointed. Like, legitimately just disappointed in you. Oh! Oh, no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Let's go, everybody. You are not doing that. Don't Why? You you guys get to heal yourselves? What the hell? See? Point proven! War cr oh, oh no! Never mind. Fucking AKG, go ahead, I guess. Their basic attacks are breaking you. I can't believe it. He's finally putting in the effort to attack with multiple targets. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to save you, Yasuo. I am happy AKG landed the killing blow. I am actually happy he landed the finishing blow. Good job, Michelle. Good freaking job. Uh, there we go. Dear God, that strength stat. Dear God, that agility stat. That agility stat. That might... You can know best girl. That went faster than the principal, I think. I knew it. The color's different, but apart from that, this is the same skull Joker had. Hey, Yasuo. Yeah, stop, stop forgive me, please. I'm a pacifist. You are beaten down, my dude. Good lord. Ironically, that that picture kind of fits considering how thoroughly we whacked and beat your ass. You're in Joker's organization, right? Why is he harvesting people's ideals? <laughs> Even I don't know that. But there's a rule that anyone who joins the mass circle must present its executives with ideal energy derived from dreaming hearts. Masks, masked circle? That's from some kids game that shows up in my dreams. Huh? And Lady Scorpio is an executive of this mass circle? Wait, what? If the masquerade had succeeded and I gave enough energy to the lady, I thought I'd reach a high position in the mask circle. But now I'm done for! Stealing dreams for personal advancement. <laughs> I got no sympathy for this asshole. See? Yukino! Aside from Lisa, best girl! I didn't plan on them becoming shadow men! All I wanted was to dispose of my competitors for student council president! Hey, Geechee, punch him again. But 
But I lost control of the crystal skull! A non-executive like you could never control the crystal skull. That feeling again. Anna? Whoa! That... That hair. It's probably her. I bet you it is. Yukino Maezumi, you're still here. So it was you, Anna. Why are you... This skull can only be controlled by those bearing the constellation of the Holy Cross. Is this all? Of course. A typical person's energy level is paltry at best. That's why the Exalted One is granting people their ideals. Huh? Maya? Whoa! No! <laughs> burn! Burn! Burn to ash! Who the hell are you? I am called King Leo. I am highest of the four executives of the Mast Circle, bearing the sign of Leo. So you're my birth month? Dear God, that glorious mane of hair. King Leo, an executive of Joker's Mass Circle. He seems to harbor a deep grudge towards Maya, an insane man who hears voices. Born so lowly to confess, masked circle business to outsiders and abandon the shadowed festival. You deserve death. You just fucking immolated that dude. I wanted to punish him, not kill him. I could say the same about you, lady. What do you have to say in your defense after the recent debacles? Not only did you let the wild dance slide, you abandoned the Shadow Festival to vermin. If you wish to be, be present to witness the fulfillment of the Oracle of Maya, I suggest you accept the Exalted One's punishment. Oracle of Maya? Isn't that the name of Maya's actual persona? Is that why she's having such a horrid reaction to this guy? Yukino is mine. Leave her alone. Hmm. Very well. But you de will deal with the consequences of the party's interruption. Anna, wait! Cursed star. I will save you and the witch sent to purgatory. Just as the lonely one was a moment ago. <laughs> no matter how much you struggle, you can't escape the fate the Exalted One has in store for you. <laughs> So this King Leo guy has been stalking you for years, Maya-san? My persona told me so. It's him. There's no mistaking it. A pyromaniac. Kihai, that's the worst! <laughs> Don't worry. I I'm okay now. We need to think about what to do next. Remember how that king guy told Anna to deal with the consequences? That's been bugging me ever since. Let's go back to the gym. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we should. Oh. All of them. 
Damn it. We were too late. Anna. She's not here. Why would she do this? Kihai, this is terrible. What is this Oracle of Maya anyway? That makes the mass Circle do such horrible things. Yasuo's dead too. Does this mean we've hit a wall in our search for Joker? Guys, wherever rumors are, Joker's there too, right? Let's go out in the city and ask people for rumors about the mass Circle and Joker. I'm sure we'll learn something new. Trying to do a positive outlook on this, huh? There must be a reason why Anna became an executive in the Mass Circle. Miss Psycho saved me once, and now it's my turn to save that girl. Hell of a dramatic turn. God damn. I feel bad mocking the guy that we just beat the shit out of because he just got fucking toasty. He got killed. No banishment to the Shadow Realm or shit like that. No, just straight up dead. Damn. Masquerade? Oh, that old thing? I like ditched on it because that's other stuff to do. Anyway, the new hotness is Muses. You know that new idol trio that Genji Sasaki's producing? I wonder what they're like. What they're like. I can't wait for the debut. Okay. Yeah! Can't believe I let myself be taken in by a groundless rumor. What? You wish to know more of my folly? I heard a rumor that there was a real armor to be had at Anima Munda and Yumizake. But in truth, there was nothing of the kind. The employees there even mocked me for asking. But perhaps my information was bad. Maybe that stout man knows something. I believe his name is Toro, and he loves Fatty Tuna. Fatty Tuna? You mean like Morgana does? Huh, that's weird. I haven't seen Hakas High students around lately. Did their enrollment numbers drop? <sighs> no, that can't be it. Right. You can buy real shooters and blades at this guy at Tony shop in Yumizaki? Damn, sounds dangerous if you ask me. I just heard it from this polka called Toro at Gaten Sushi. If you know more, go ask him. Taten Sushi, huh? Uh, Fatty Tuna. I'll have to buy him some Fatty Tuna then. Hey, you're the rumor monger, aren't you? Hey there, it's you. I'm on fire today as usual, but I'm not full yet. What can I do for you today? Ask about rumors. What do you want to know about? <sighs> Which area? Yumizaki? Sure, but first, tell me what you know. Huh, Zodiac is a secret lounge. Now that you mention it, I think I heard something like that. So it really exists. Okay, my turn. There's a rumor you can buy real llama and anima mundi in Yumizaki. The stuff is cheap and subpar quality. Cheap and subpar quality, huh? Give me all of your stuff. Huh, you were at Seven's Clock Tower and you saw a real ghost. Yikes, I'm not much for spooky stuff. I'll tell you one story instead. Rumors you can buy real weapons at Thor Shop in Yumizaki. They're cheap and low quality. Well, with you a while, huh? I'm just getting a lot of these different types of rumors so I can just adjust the uh, market. I have the power to adjust the market with rumors. I am just that evil in this power. Oh, whoa, the principal of Seven suddenly grew some hair. What that was a request for Joker. Well, here's what I've got. You know the store Time Castle. Where they sell real weapons to high quality but expensive. One of these days I need to actually check all of this stuff. Like, pass the rumors and then check it out. But I get these options available, so... Oh, something terrible will happen if the clock at Steven starts again. That's pretty out there. Well, here's what I know. The rumor is that Rosa Candida sells real llama. They have reasonable prices but low quality stuff. Okay. That's all the rumors I know of right now. Let's swap stories again when I get a new one. Promise. Talk? Ah, uh, Mass Turkle. I've never heard of it. Is that some kind of organization? 
these people are here in this city. That's big. I should look into it immediately. Hmm. Maybe the girl at Peace Diner might know more. Have you tried asking her about them? The girl at Peace Diner, huh? Well, thank you, Toro. Next stop, Peace Diner. Where the fuck is Peace Diner? Oh, it's probably not here. It's, uh... Peace Diner. Well, I guess the first thing I'll check is Yumazaki real quick. Zodiac. That tells me there might be something there. This must be the multi-store, I believe. Peace Diner. Like the girl here? Or the blue-haired chick? Ah, Chikorin. I'm gonna stay here and wait for Cozy Senpai to get in touch. Oh, but I'll help you out too with my scoop hunting skills. Notch. What's up, Nissan? Mm, a mass circle. Never heard of them before. Are they tied to that co co to what Cozy Senpai was investigating? I still haven't heard from her. They sound pretty suspicious though. Are they like demon worshippers? Mm, maybe the fortune teller and Kohan would Conan would know. Fortune teller and Conan? I'll try looking into the mass circle too. Wait until you see what I can put together. Okay, what are the rumors you got? Yumizaki rumors. Tell me your first. Oh, you saw a real ghost of the clock tower in Thevin? Seriously? Oh, you know, I pull my leg here? <laughs> ghost stories freak me out so much that I couldn't bring myself to investigate that one on my own. But now I know. Okay, my turn. There's this place, Tony Shops in Yumizaki. Rumors that you can buy real weapons there. His price is the end quality are okay. See, that seems about right. Okay, any other rumors you got for me, ma'am? What do you got? Ah, uh, there really was a secret lounge in Zodiac? Looks like a maze, eh? That's impressive footwork. Here's what I know in return. That store, Anima Mundi, around here sells real weapons. They have an amazing selection, but pretty low buyback prices. That looks like one that I might want to sp uh, spread, actually. That's the rumors I know. Oh, but don't worry, I'll let you know as soon as I hear something juicy. So we gotta go to Conan next, huh? Duly noted. Conan. Uh, where is that? The fortune teller and Conan. Hey! New place! Conan PD, oh, the police department. Lunar Palace Conan, Seaside Mall, Ebisu Beach, Abandoned Factory, and Aerospace Museum. I imagine the Lunar Palace is where she is, if I had to guess. The producer, Genji Sasaki. Looks like he's got a new idol group lined up. Songs to lick my heart's thirst. What sort of miserable moves is describing to my heart? The suspense is delectable. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice breeze today, too. All men are on a journey somewhere in their hearts. Just like when they finally make it to shore and ought to think about settling down, they row out again to the sea. The sea's an eternal home for men like that, a place they always find themselves back at. Kid, this here Conan is another such place. It's a city made for the hard-boiled. The fuck are you going on about? You, you heckin' weirdo? Is it weird that, like, as I'm playing this, for some fucking reason, my autistic brain thought it'd be a good idea. Hey, remember that game you were played during a live stream, um, getting over it? A lot of people rage at that game, apparently. That's Ebisu Beach. It's got its name because people called the corpse that they used to drift ashore Ebisu South. Oh my god, that's depra- That can't be real. That can't, that can't be real. Please tell me that's not real, because that's just too depressing to think about. A beach bequeathed with the names of those who ended their transient lives. A fitting place for one like me who can't forget her man. Oh my god, that can't be real! Please tell me that is not real! Oh my god! This is my place! Come on in! Wait, what? Hey, Subata! 
doesn't it make you kind of nervous going into a girl's room? Well, I mean, as long as there's trust and consenting with that, I don't think it's really much of a problem. Or maybe it's because I grew up with four sisters that this shit doesn't really bother me. Well, here we go. Into the secret garden. Plot twist. It's like a fan it's like a it's like a fan room where it's like a, a bunch of posters of like a well not really much a band bore uh Plot twist, what if she what if Maya just has like a bunch of collectible Gundams? Or this My need to clean. I have an intense urge to clean and organize this room. Aren't you exaggerating a little? No, I'm dead serious. Get a get a broom, get a dustpan, get some garbage bags. I am going to start organizing shit. I uh, yeah, I thought looters had broken in. Is this what it looks like all the time? Is that manga? Holy crap! It's a disaster area! Any guy she took home to this would be out the door in seconds. She needs a maid or something! Well, if this were Persona 5, I certainly know a maid we can get in contact with, but no. Dear God, I... I, I really just want to clean so fucking badly right now! Maya! My roommate's really well organized. She's always after me to clean up, but... Well, who has the time? <laughs> oh my god! My son lives here with her friend, and this is the result of two women living together? I see no boyfriends in their future. Oh my god! It's a new boombox. It's about the only clean thing in the room. Oh my god! <laughs> You don't understand. I have the most intense desire to clean up this room. <laughs> Whoa, Sabata, that's my roommate's room. She will literally kill you if you go in there. Who's your roommate? Genocide Jack? I... Uh... <laughs> We're leaving. This is clearly not where the fortune teller is. Mm-hmm. This is some pretty nice scenery. I'll have to remember to get a picture later. Oh, he just... Okay. Seaside Mall. Jolly Roger, London, Clothier. Hiragi Psychotherapy. Psychotherapy. Therapy. Therapy. Sumaru Genie. And another Satomi Sadashi. Let's go to London, Clothier. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is really something. Rumors like the one Maya-san was talking about are probably spreading because they're keeping this around. Because they're ke they're keeping this around, shit. Have you heard of the demon painter? He had a talent for painting the two extremes of a god and a demon. I was a great admirer of his, but he went missing many decades ago and has yet to be heard from since. No, he's in the velvet room. I'm sorry, the what? Man who became an English gentleman. I'd always wanted to live as an English gentleman. I might be an office drone, but what could a little elegant living hurt? And oh, heaven did not forsake me. My wish has been granted. You see before you a proper English gentleman. I thought I must look the part and so came to have a classic coat made for me. Well, I mean, dress for success, I guess. Hey, this man's got a kilt! He's got style. There are rumors the shop makes armor, too. The shop owner apparently put up a sign saying he'd make absolutely anything wearable. Really? Did you hear what Maya said? It's just an exaggerated slogan. Who knows what people will turn into rumors next? Yee, she costs as much for the fabric alone? Tailor-made stuff sure costs a lot. Even I can only dream of buying this stuff. Hi, Walter! And I shall do as the butler does. 
Welcome to London, Clothier, inheritor of the finest traditions of England. Yes, what's on your mind? Ah, what a young customer. Oh, pardon me, I didn't mean it that way. But made-to-order outfits like ours are perceived as quite expensive, so our clientele runs older. If I can help you with anything else at all, please don't hesitate to ask. What do you got? Oh my god! Thank you. I'm most looking forward to your continued patronage. <laughs> me thinks me cannot uh, afford. For did 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 die for did die. Can... <laughs> That fortune teller is equally famous as an informant. She talks to enough people to know what's going on in the world. Sounds like she knows a lot about rumors too, so why not try asking her for some? She might know something about the mass circle, because this might be where we're supposed to go. Hey, I know. Why don't we try asking the fortune teller here about the mass circle? That's what I was thinking. That guy says he's a politician, but I remember him crying the other day about being laid off. When did he become a politician? Never heard that. When do we have an election? <laughs> I didn't think it would be this easy to become a politician. It pays to believe in crazy rumors sometimes. Never fear, citizens. I shall fix everything from the recession to societal problems to pollution to your taxes. <laughs> That's why I came here today. I need to get my fortune read about what I should propose in the local assembly. You are a hopeless case and you're going to destroy this country. You know about this place, Sabata? The genie here is probably pop is popular because their readings are always pretty accurate. Uh-huh. So, does the fortune teller here use the cards or a crystal ball? Seems like only a phony would use both. Unless she uses the combination of rumors to make them true, you know, you, you never know. The fortune teller here is famous because most of what she says comes true. <sighs> I just scared the future, but... So, I always make sure to come here to get my fortune read. Hello, may we, um, speak? Ooh, your design. The Egyptian motif, the, the cloth covering the face, and the little serpent wrapped around. Like, I, I dig the Egyptian aesthetic, but my goodness. I... Wow. S sorry, I just got. St oh, hmm. that's an interesting character design. Oh God, what do I do with you? Um, I guess I'll stick with the mysterious female voice. Those lost in life's labyrinth drift here. We are a light shining upon a path into the dismal future. I am the keeper. Sumaru Genie. A husky voiced fortune teller who knows a lot about rumors. Well, I guess I chose the right voice. Rumored to be seen sometimes in the parts of the city that come alive at night. It seems this is your first visit. Are you one who has lost his way to the future? Or have come to hear tales of this transitory world? Masked Circle. This name is not known to me. Does it refer to some coalition? If so, seek the counsel of the man at Honmaru Park. He knows more of this transitory world than I. But a mysterious coalition knows the mass circle, yes? An intriguing story. I must add it to my store of rumors. For what have you sought me out today? Ask about rumors. Wait, can you do the same thing? No, you just give me rumors, okay. Very well. The price will be 3,000 yen. Do you still wish this? Yes. Let us gaze into the mists. Un Ambrois Choral Premium. Crystal Ball, show me this man's destiny. 
Yes, I see something. Your destiny is solidified. Hmm. This is the Two of Swords. Man's karma, repressed emotions. The cause of, for the foreseeable future, you will be counted among the poor, forced to live in poverty and hunger. What? That. Uh. Shit. I didn't get to read that because she went by too fast. If you wish to peer into your future, return to me. The crystal ball and the cards will be in your fat infallible guides. Honmaru, huh? I think that's where I'm gonna have to end it for today. That was interesting. I wonder if the uh, actual fortunes have an effect on my actual playing. Like, well, well, Destin, I'm guessing with food, it means I'll go through the food a lot faster, or uh, poverty means I'm probably gonna have to start spending a lot for other stuff, but I don't know. I'll figure this out later, but I don't know what it is. I like her design. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. I, I guarantee it's probably the Egyptian aesthetic and the eye motif. God damn it.